Hi everyone, I am Priyanka Jain. I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. And here is a very big news for all of you. Soon we are starting new batch courses. Okay, one of my batch course is starting for the revision of inorganic chemistry. If you are preparing for CSIR net, you will know that there is an exam on 29th of January. Okay, so there are two months left. So we have decided to launch a new batch course full revision course of the inorganic chemistry here we will see full revision with the pyqs okay previous year questions we will solve the questions we will see quick revision all the things you will see here okay this batch course is starting from 8th of december okay and the next batch course that we are starting is starting from 2nd of december and this is for the chemistry of coordination compounds chemistry of transition metals okay so here we will discuss about the coordination chemistry all the subject we will discuss from the beginning okay so you will see all the type of questions from the peer previous year and from the good books also okay hi students welcome in chemistry classes i am priyanka jain and as you know that the CSIR NET exam is being held on 29th of January. Okay, so there is at least two months for preparing for it. So we have started here a test series for all of you. Here you can see some questions from all of the topics that are very important. Okay, here I am giving you the solutions of the questions. You can start yourself. Firstly, you see the question and then pause the video. Okay, and try to solve it yourself. If you are not getting the questions answer, then you see the next thing okay you should see the solution so see here what are the questions here i have taken the questions of the organometallics and this question is from december 2018 the first important thing in the organometallics that is asked is the total valency electrons so you should know about the total valency electrons how to count total valency electrons how to find out the metal metal bonds and how to find isolobal analogy these things are very small things and you should know about it because the questions are asked from it so see here such type of questions are asked this question from december 2018 here we have asked identify the pair of molecules which are isoelectronic as well as isostructural from the following we have given these molecules okay pdps3 whole pore vco6 crco6 rh pps3 whole thri cl and this c5h5 nino nico whole four okay six molecules are given to us so first thing that we have to do is what we have to find out the total number of electrons okay because we have find out isoelectronic species okay so see here pd pps3 whole four in this case if we are seeing the total valency electrons then palladium will have 10 electrons plus pps3 ligand donates two electrons so 2 into 4 will be equal to 8 okay so here are 18 electrons right now see the next v co whole 6 okay in this case total valency electrons will be equal to here 12 from this and 5 from the vanadium so this will be equal to 17 electrons okay you all know carbonyl is a 2 electron donor ligand right similarly cr co whole 6 here we have given chromium so total valency electrons chromium will have six electrons plus two into six 12 okay so 18 electrons okay now see rh pps3 whole thrice cl okay in this case total valency electrons rhodium will have nine electrons plus PPS3 ligand will donate 2 electrons, so 2 into 3 will be equal to 6. Plus this chloride, this is 1 electron donor, okay. If you have my video, I have already made the videos about the ligands and now number of electrons donated by it. So you can see that videos, you will find out that the chloride is a 1 electron donor, okay. So the total number of electrons here will be equal to 16 electrons. Now see the next eta 5 c 5 h 5 it means this ligand cyclopentadienyl is donating five electrons okay and i and o so see here total valency electrons will be equal to five plus
plus 10 electrons from the nickel plus n oligand is donating here 3 electrons. So total electrons will be 18, right? Now see NiCO whole 4. So here total valency electrons 10 by the nickel and 4 into 2, 8. So 18 electrons. Now you can see here the same number of electrons are present here, here, here and here. Out of which these two are 6 coordinated, okay. This one, this one and this one is 4 coordinated, okay. This one, this is the 16 electrons is perceived, okay. So this will not be the answer. Now see this, this and this. So this cannot be isostructural, okay. This and this are the 4 coordinated. So the 4 coordinated species are this one and this one and this is also isoelectronic and isostructural. So our answer is A and this, okay, A and this one, right, this will be E, okay, this is F. So this NiCO4 and PdPPS3 whole 4, these are the right answers. All right, see this question from December 2017. Here the question is choose the isoelectronic pairs among the following. We have given four different options and we have to find out the isoelectronic species, okay. So see here, firstly V CO whole 6. In this case total valency electrons will be equal to 5 from 8 plus 6 into 2, okay. Carbonyl ligand is a 2 electron donor. So total number of electrons will be equal to 17 electrons, right. Now see the next. Cu this ligand okay now see the total number of valency electrons here by copper 11 electrons plus 5 electrons by this cyclopentadienyl ring plus 2 electrons of this so the total number of electrons will be equal to here 18 okay now see the next Cu CO whole 4 minus. In this case, total number of valency electrons cobalt will have 9 electrons plus 8 electrons from this carbonyl ligands plus 1 electron of this charge. So, total number of electrons will be 18. Okay. Now, see the next IR, Cl, CO, PPS3 whole twice. Okay. Iridium will have 9 electrons plus chloride ligand will donate 1 electron, CO ligand will donate 2 electrons, this will donate 2 electrons. So 2 into 2 will be equal to 4, okay. So the total number of electrons here will be equal to 16. So this is a 16 electron species. So now you can see this and this are having the same number of electrons 18. So our answer is B and C, okay. This option number B is our right answer. Okay, now see this question from December 2016. The number of bridging ligands and metal metal bonds present in the complex, we have given this complex, that obeys 18 electron rule respectively. So, see here firstly, here two ruthenium atoms are present. Okay, two ruthenium atoms are present here. Okay, and two this ligand, two this ligand, and this is the bridging ligand. You can see PPH2, CH2, PPS2. Okay, so the structure of this complex will be like that. These are two ruthenium atoms, okay, and two CO ligands are present as the bris, right, and this is the cyclopentadienyl ring, okay, and now this ligand, that is a bidentate ligand, so it will be attached in this manner, okay. Now you have to count the total number of valency electrons. So total valency electrons will be equal to ruthenium will have 8 electrons, okay. So 8 into 2, 2 metal atoms are present plus 5 into 2 of the two cyclopentadienyl rings plus two CO ligands are present. So, two into two, it means four plus 
four of this ligand. This is a bidentate ligand, so it will donate four electrons. So total number of electrons will be here thirty four. Okay. So the number of metal metal bonds. will be equal to n into 2 minus total valency electrons divided by 2 okay so if you are calculating number of metal atoms are 2 so here we have to write out 18 okay 18 into 2 it means 36 minus 34 divided by 2 so it will be equal to 1 so number of metal metal bonds here will be 1 so this will be the number of metal metal bonds one metal metal bond is present okay so in this what is asked was number of bridging ligands so number of bridging ligands are three right and number of metal metal bonds is one okay so our answer is option number c three and one okay see this question june 2016 the number of metal metal bonds in this complex we have given this compound and we have to find out the number of metal metal bonds so firstly we have to find out the total number of valency electrons so cobalt atom is given to us nine valency electrons into two cobalt atoms are present in iron eight valency electrons into two metal atoms are present plus 11 into 2 for the carbon ion ligands and this we have given mu pps2 it will donate 8 electrons okay so the total number of valency electrons will be 18 plus 16 plus 22 plus 8 so it will be equal to 64 right now we have to find out the number of metal metal bonds so it will be equal to 18 into n Minus total valency electrons divided by two. Here n is the number of metal atoms that is equal to four. Okay, two are cobalt and two are iron atoms. So eighteen into four minus sixty-four divided by two. It will be equal to seventy-two minus sixty-four divided by two. It means it will be equal to four. So the number of metal metal bonds is equal to four. Option number B is the right answer. Okay. So in this way you have to do the questions based on the total valency electrons and metal metal bonds meets you in the next video with some more questions thank you